Hey guys, welcome to a little review on the Super Console X or the Serper Console X according to the manual. This one has 50 emulators and 33,300 games! Well, if you want to keep it short and simple, this is an old TV box with a lick of paint. That's it. You can finish now if you want. But if you want to look into the specs a bit further, this is 905M. Not a lot about this other than it would have been called the 908, but it's been renamed to the 905X. So if you want to find any information on that, use your duck duck go foo. Anyway, we have here a box. Yep. Standard box, all right. With a super console inside. Oh, I'm getting excited. Wait. Smoothly runs. More than 80 emulators. Ooh. Yes, the Wicked Gamer Collector also mentioned this. I'm very, very intrigued. But then again, you could just turn on the bilinear filtering. Everything would be smooth then. Aha! So I got the cheap PS pads, which I don't want to touch. They're like fin slacks. HDMI cable. The thing about this manual is it just shows you how to use emulation station. Smart gamepad. Hmm. And here's the console. Micro SD, 128 gig here, two USB ports, three and a half mil audio jack, Ethernet connector, HDMI, DC connector, and an on and off button. All right. Nothing else is functional, it's just hard plastic. Bottom we got these four little pads and 12 volt, one amp power is needed. So let's check out this power connector and oh, I don't live in Europe. Useless. If you order one, make sure you message the seller, let them know which type you need. Okay, this is a size comparison with the Pi 4, a Pi 3B Plus, Saga Mini Box, and a Super Nintendo. Let's power her on. Alright, so that's a nice little intro by Kin Hank Games Retro. What? Oh. Yep, probably definitely stole that. So what we have here is RetroPie, basically. So we have all of these systems in a long, long list. Select one, select your game, and off you go. The most difficult on this list to emulate are usually Atomis Wave, N64, Dreamcast, and PSP. If they run well, then it's fair to say that anything else on the list is pretty much good to go. So first thing we're going to do is configure the controller. I'm just going to stick in my Logitech and let's set this thing up. So we got some nice thumbnails on the side. First thing I'm going to check out is Amiga emulation. The Pi 4 can do this flawlessly and the 3B Plus can do this pretty well. Let's see how this little super console holds up. Okay, good sign is running Amiberry and also WHD load games too. It's a big shout out to the Amiga community. And you're out there. I'm holding fire, but I cannot accelerate. Oh no, this is terrible. Okay, let's see what we can do. We can change emulator here. So on Amiberry, I'm going to try Pue. This is indeed running Pue. Just going to try fiddling with the options. Almost there. There we go. So we can make Pui usable at least. 
And a Turkin. Let's try one of the problem games. Oh dear. Gym power. Just gonna try switching the emulator back to Amiberry. Running a little better. Maybe the same speed as a 3B+. Okay, so in the settings here, we should be able to turn off auto fire. I'll fix Lotus. Nope. Oh dear. This build of the emulator is roughly around a year old. Here's some Amstrad action. I'm quite liking these bezels on the side. Sonic 2. Let's check if this has been optimized. Okay, we got blood on. Oh, the slowdown. Okay, if you get a game like this on Neo Geo, go to Quick Menu, Options, CPU Clock, and boost this up. And you'll get a nice, smooth experience. All right, Tekken 3, let's check out the controls. Good, good, good. What? Okay, so my circle is set up to L for some strange reason. So even if you get a ready setup system like this, you'll always come into these little issues with controls and retro arc. It's just something to be aware of. Here's some PSP. Looking pretty good. Metal Slug Double X. I've noticed that some large titles are not actually on the box's stock, so I'm just gonna pop them on via network. And I'm gonna try some Tekken 6. Okay, it's running. It's running. <laughs> it's running. <laughs> All right. If you put frame skip on one or two, you're able to play it. I'm leaving frame skip off so you can just gauge how powerful this unit is. Here's Wipeout Pure. You can see the graphics glitching a bit with the ship. That's due to the Mali 450 being used. We'll compare it to the Pi 3 and the 4 later on. F-Zero X. This is running extremely well. I'm quite certain there are some graphical glitches. Bit of golden eye. Dinner, dinner. Oh, oh. <laughs> Where's the trigger? Worst guard ever. Guy's got problems. 
could probably fix them by going into the quick menu, changing up the graphics driver. I'm actually quite surprised how fast it's running. Next, Dreamcast. Oh wow, multi-ROM. Now let's choose the best game of the list. Some control configuration may be needed in the quick menu. Okay, let's move on to Naomi with Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Next is a Thomas Wave, Dolphin Blue. There is some graphical glitch in here. If you check out his body, ooh, you can see right through it. Okay, all we need to do is go into the options here, and then change alpha sorting to. Per triangle. That'll fix it right up. All right, Metal Slug 6. Seems to be running very well. But for those in the know, the best way to test it is to check out this boss. Oh dear. Okay, try a different one. Neo Geo Battle Coliseum. This one just crashes out. I tried King of Fighters 11. No luck with that one either. Could be a bad ROM, or it could be lack of memory. We only have one gigabyte. So this is Emuelic 3.5, but what we could do is maybe update. Unfortunately, this is going to be the last release for our board. Oh no. Let's get it anyway. So the one you need is this one. Generic Imgz. Right click, save as. So we're going to flash it to a micro SD. Could be a different one so you can keep the Super Console one safe. Boom, head chop. And in here, device trees, what we need to do is right click, copy this file. Then we're going to paste it here. So we're going to change the bottom name to be dtb.inc. So I'm just going to select that, copy, delete it. And then rename the bottom file dtb.img and that's it throw that into your super console I just copy the ROMs over via network and you'll have this this 3.9 update looks really nice If we wanted to, we could select through the emulators here. So let's see if this has solved our auto fire problem. And yes, no auto fire. So now with the update to Amiberry, we can play most of the Amiga library with pretty good speed. If you wish to have the bezels back on, you can install them through the Emu Elec menus. Okay, so let's compare with similar systems. This is a 3B+. Plus. Oh dear, 5 frames per second. This one's the Pi 4. And now the Pandora Saga 
mini TV box. Fifty to fifty six frames per second. All three instances were on the same settings. So what we have here is essentially a Pi on an Android box. They probably just got a ton of old TV boxes they didn't sell, slam on a 905 Emuelic image, spam the name on it, spray painted it, almost looks like a SNES, and sold it. Thing is, it runs PSP better than any Pi, but not as good as a PG3D. And emulates Amiga, Atomic Wave, but not as good as a Pi. So in conclusion, the Super Console X tries to do a little bit of everything. Jack of all trades, master of none. Most things that this console can do, the Pi could do years ago. So what I'd say is, if you want to emulate things pretty well, get a Pi 4. If you want to play games, get a Saga. If you want to help the channel, affiliate links are in the description below.